Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Bringing you another fly tying video today. Today I'm tying an October Caddis wet fly. Um, hey, it's fall season here. We're going to start seeing them soon. In our area we have October Caddis. We don't have great numbers of them, but every year I always see them at the uh, light on my porch. I have a stream probably about 75, 80 yards behind my house, and I always end up getting a few October Caddis every year on the light there. So they are around. They're not going to create a big hatch here in our area, but they'll cut, it'll create a fishable hatch. So um, I always like to have a couple October Caddises with me. If I'm going to swing a wet fly, this is the pattern I'm going to to sorry to swing. Um, you know, I like swinging them. I like swinging wet flies. It's fun. I don't do it as often as I should, but um, you know, if you're an old, if you're new to the fly fishing sport. You know, you probably got in with the Euro craze and stuff like that. That's great. Diversify. You know, you're going to catch more fish if you're able to fish different kinds of methods. And uh, wet flies is a very, very fun method of fishing. And it's pretty easy to learn, too, because you know when you get a bite, they're going to smack it. So, anyway, guys, here it is. Um, the materials to tie it and then the fly in the vise. Okay, here you see the uh, October Caddis wet fly in the vise. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, I'm using a fire hole 633. This is a size 14. For a thread, we're using some Semperfly Nano Silk. This is 12 watt orange. And I'm just going to start it on the middle there and wrap back over itself to lock it into place. And then we're going to cut our tag end off. Okay, now the next thing we're going to add is a little bit of hot orange, um, brassy ultra wire, brassy is the size. And I'm just going to cut a couple inch piece of this off, I'll use it, I'll get like two or three flies out of this piece. I'm just going to tie it on the side closest to me, wrap it back right to the bend of the hook, and wrap it down good there, and then I'm going to come back there to that bend of the hook. Next thing I'm going to use is this burnt orange piece of soft tackle chickapoo. Uh, we have a couple of these in the shop here right now, and uh, it's great for the October caddis. The tail and the body we're going to make with this section, and the wing we're going to make with the shoulders here. So these shoulder feathers are really nice. Um, this is burnt orange colored. I use I like to use the Brahma soft tackle as like a partridge imitation and um, works great for that. It's really modeled really nice, but we're gonna use these shoulder pieces on the side for that, for the hackle, but we're gonna use one of these pieces up here for the body and the tail of it. So I'm just gonna pluck one of them out. Okay, now, now that I got it plucked out, you can see this feather here, and these marabou pieces up here at the end, I wanna get rid of them because I wanna Get them off the fly. I don't want to have that tied into the fly at the end. So there you can see, and we'll get rid of a couple of those bigger, longer ones. So with the rest of it, as you see there, I'm going to take and I'm going to put them in my fingers, pull them all together, and I'm going to pinch it down to the tips. Now I'm going to go kind of short. There you see, that's how long I'm going to have my tail. So honestly, about half the hook length here is how how long I want this tail. And I'm going to put about three, four, three or four or so nice tight wraps in there and then I'm going to come up in front of it. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this feather shaft and I'm just going to spin it with my finger. So I'm just going to twist it around, get those marabou pieces all nice and tight together. And then I'm going to take my hackle pliers and I'm going to Put my hackle pliers on the end. Now this part I know you can't see, but I'm putting the hackle pliers on that shaft of that feather and we're just going to wrap this forward. Nice side by side wraps. Don't go over top of it, it'll make it too big of a body. And we're going to wrap this as far as we can up the hook sh shank here. I'm 
Once we get up here, then we're going to tie this off. Then we're going to take our orange wire and I'm going to counter wrap this going the other way. This time I wrapped the hackle away from me. This time I'm going to wrap towards me. By doing that, it's going to secure that into place. And we're just going to tie that, tie the wire off and helicopter it off. Next thing I'm going to use is a little bit of rusty brown SLF prism. And this is going to make our um, abdomen. So I'm going to use not a lot, but a fair amount. I want this to be like the thickness of the, the rest of it. I want it to blend all together real nicely there. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to put on our hackle. For the hackle feather, I'm going to take a feather and when I'm looking at it, the camera is reversed here. So when I'm looking at it, it's my left side of the feather. If I flip it around to you, it would be the right side of the feather. I'm going to strip one side off. This is going to let me minimize the, the amount of hackle feathers that I wrap around the hook. But you can see here, I have the point stripped out. So we're just going to pull that point out like that, trim the end off, and that's going to be my tie down point. And don't get discouraged if you strip the sides off of a couple feathers before you get one that, you, that holds together. That's just the way it works. Um, they're fragile feathers, I guess you would say. So now I'm going to hook my hackle pliers on here again. Wrap these forward, making sure my hackle doesn't twist. And I'm going to get about three or four wraps up here. Keeping my hackle to a minimum. There we go. I like that amount. And then I'm just going to tie it off. Trim off the extra here. And then I'm going to peel these fibers back just so I make sure I get them trapped backwards and flowing with the body like that and create a nice little head. And I don't want to get too thick and overpowering on the head here. It's a common mistake. You tend to build up too big of a head. So we're just going to make a nice, even, nice. there we go. I like that. And that's all that is to this soft tackle. October Caddis. Sorry about that. There you go. Alright guys. Hope you like that pattern. It's a very simple pattern. The great thing about it is one material, actually two. You got your dubbing there too. A little bit. But um, if you don't have that exact color of dubbing, use something close to it. Get something brown in there or whatever. You'll match just fine. I just like that one because it gives it just a little bit of flash and a little bit of pop. Um, give it a try. We have some of these soft tackle chickapoos in the shop right now. If we run out, we'll try to get more for you. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. You know, I bring these out every week to you, or at least I try. And um, I think next week actually makes my 400th video. I've been at this for quite a long time, and it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. I love whenever you guys stop in the shop and say, you know, I watch you all the time. That's really cool. So. Um, thanks for watching guys. Like always, if you need any of the materials, just head over to our website at wholesingersflyshop.com and uh, you can find them there or in the links in the material list down below in the description. So, till next week when I bring you another fly time video, I'm Sean Holsinger.